The other day I was coming out of the elevator where I live into a shared common area in the foyer and I noticed this gentleman who was pushing a pram. He looked about in his 70s and I just assumed that he was pushing his grandchild. But on closer look, I noticed that it wasn't a baby, it was a cat sitting up in the pram watching me. I automatically smiled the biggest smile I had because firstly it looked ridiculous. Um, I think because I was expecting a baby, but also because to me that's a magnet. I just, without thinking, automatically go over and want to pat the cat. The gentleman seemed really happy that I was patting his cat and the cat was really happy and started purring. I think the cat was almost an excuse to connect with other people. I noticed that it took a lot of the hesitation and awkwardness that we normally feel as humans when we're approaching a stranger. The impact of somebody taking time to be kind to a complete stranger made me think of what other ways that people can show how awesome they are. So if you are looking for a wholesome, uplifting video, then this is it. Moments of appreciation are about to be shared. People who warn others about upcoming dangers, like flashing their lights when they're on the road. It could be roadblocks ahead or police cars. Not quite sure whether that's legal with the speed trap thing, but anyway, it happened all the time, particularly when I was in New Zealand. It was very common for people to flash their headlights and warn others about upcoming road dangers. I also noticed this particularly in the more rural areas of Australia, there seems to be a community or camaraderie about helping each other out and that's pretty awesome. People who notice that you're smiling at their dog and they smile at you and you kind of catch them. <laughs> when you only have a couple of shopping items but the person in front of you that has a full trolley lets you go in in front of them. When somebody praises another person in their absence, it says a lot about a person who speaks well of others when they're not around. It also reminds me that there's a lot of good in people and complete strangers can be some of the best people that you can make friends with and it kind of counteracts a lot of the media and the stories that are incessantly hammered at us that people can't be trusted and people are inherently bad and always looking out to do the wrong thing or manipulate you. It, it counteracts that story and it gives you hope and makes you question whether the unrelenting negative messages we keep receiving are actually true. When people are aware of what embarrasses you, for example, if you spill a drink on yourself with a group of people and they deliberately slightly turn away and make conversation so it takes attention off you so you have time to clean yourself up and get a napkin and, and not embarrass yourself <laughs> any further. They don't stare at you or make you feel awkward and they don't make a big deal out of it. We are often exposed to a culture where people like to point out other people's shame or laugh at their humanity, so it goes a long way. And it really stands out when somebody makes that little tiny small adjustment to not make your humiliation any worse. Seeing people hold a door open for someone or having a door held open for you, I found that a lot of modern workplaces have mastered the art of making you feel unimportant or replaceable or another KPI or profit metric. We're vulnerable to being kept so busy that we don't notice other people's struggles because we have so many of our own. So when somebody actually notices that you're having a moment of difficulty or you're trying to get through a door and they spend that little extra time to help you. It feels like you've been given your own superhero. When somebody actually listens and doesn't make the conversation about them. Purely listening can be one of the hardest habits to build, especially if you're wired to want to jump into a conversation to offer solutions or share your experience in life. I know that I am not perfect and I don't remember to do that every time. I am often wired to try and help people straight away, try and fix a problem or ease the suffering as quickly as possible, but realizing that, that sometimes people just want to be heard and just need somebody to listen. When somebody gets up to make a drink and they offer to make you one, I find that is such a small gesture, but it means a lot. And to me, it's just acknowledging somebody's presence and being considerate of somebody else. I realize I was definitely raised to offer somebody a drink even before you made your own. and. I still feel weird if I go to a kitchenette in a workplace and haven't offered somebody a drink while I'm getting one. It's just so deeply ingrained, but I realize that's not how everybody else grew up and that's okay, but it is just 
a really beautiful gesture, I find, and it's very simple and it doesn't take a lot to ask if somebody would like something. It's the small gestures, it's the little moments, those little windows that we have of showing somebody else that we're thinking of them or that we care. All of those little moments stack up every day and I feel that they are what adds to a beautiful life. When people get happy, when you're happy, people sharing in your wins and your excitement, it reminds me of how excited your dog gets seeing you come through the door when you've just come home from work. You haven't done anything special. It's simple, it's innocent, and it reminds me of how we all were as kids before we were taught how to grow up and compete with each other for resources. When somebody picks up a fallen item on the floor in the shops instead of walking past it like everybody else. People who thank the bus driver. I realize that I don't do all of these things all the time. I am not perfect and I'm still becoming aware of ways that I can contribute and maybe do more of those things on this list. Particularly smiling just at a complete stranger in the city here. It's something that's simple and easy to do and is free to give away. And I know how it's felt when somebody smiled at me. At first I turn around thinking that they're smiling at somebody else, but when I realized it was for me, it changed my day. This is a little list of things that can be a reminder for me, but maybe also for you.